The tide pools in this area are quite fascinating in the variation of habitat in such a small area. The first set of tide pools the visitor will encounter are relatively high flat rocky areas many feet above the average tide line. The tops of these rock formations have several small pools that either have water all the time or have water that will drain off very slowly over time. These tide pools have lots of different marine life including lots of mussels that are normally found much lower in the tide zone. They are concentrated in areas where the water drains over them and keeps them wet for many hours of the day. These small pools and channels are loaded with tightly packed marine life. Notice the limpets hugging the perimeter of these pools and wet areas. The area right below the high rocks is covered by these small depressions in the softer rock. Many of these depressions have chitons living at the bottom and sometimes in an enemy or a limpet. Just below this area are small surge channels that are covered by seawater all of the time. These channels have lots of smaller fish, plenty of red, green, and brown algae. The shallower channels also have lots of small fish, including sculpins, blinnies, and a few juvenile opali. The tide pool area then extends many yards out into the ocean. At lower tides, this is a broad, flat area covered by low-growing red and brown algae. This area has quite a few anemones and pockets of limpets and red-thatched barnacles, so be on the lookout when moving over this area. There are numerous clams in this area, but only the open or dead clams are easy to see. The boundary of this flat area in the ocean is marked by these deeper channels that are several feet deep in most places. This is a great place to see more juvenile fish and an occasional larger fish like Garibaldi. Keep a sharp eye out for other predators that cruise this area looking for an easy meal. Additional information about this location can be found at our website at www.californiatidepools.com.